Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear dignitaries on the dais, my beloved teachers, dear friends and parents. Today, the most important topic given to me to present my views before you is student-teacher relationship establishing the boundaries. Talking about boundaries, let me ask you a question. What does boundaries mean in a student-teacher relationship? Let me tell you what boundaries are. Boundaries are nothing but limits set by students and teachers in their day-to-day -day activities. It is a spectrum of activities that have the potential to exploit the dependency of a student in a number of ways. So what are these boundaries? Students should respect, listen and do not interrupt while teaching. Students should avoid inappropriate and unethical questions about the teacher's personal life. Students should maintain distance and avoid physical touches with the respective of genders. Thus, adhering to the boundaries may lead to a very good healthy relationship between a student and a teacher. Now, let us talk about friendship. Can teachers and students be friends? Oh, now, this is an important question with instructional effectiveness since it leads to issues related to engagement, barrier, behavior and respect. All are the key elements in a student-teacher relationship. I want to present some humble suggestions to all my teachers which may help them in maintaining professional boundaries with students. Number one. Teachers should use only appropriate power in dealing with the students. Number two, treat students fairly without treating anybody as your favorites. Number three, one-to-one -one meetings can be held during normal school hours. Such meetings can be held in open and visible areas. Number four, be aware of any teacher who may seem too familiar with one of the students. Now, the question that arises is, is it important to be friendly? Now, the answer to that question is, with Facebook turning the word friend into a superficial commodity these days, true friendship is diminished and also turned in an increasing connected world. We cannot afford the policy. Teachers may never be friendly with students, but we can help teachers and students recognize their clear boundaries and achieve their goals of success. Did you know that inspiration may come from the teacher at the school or by your mother at your home? It is well said that mother is the first and the best teacher who has a very healthy relationship with her child. In this regard, let me share a story. And this story is about a world famous scientist whose name is Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas, in his early age of schooling, finds learning a very difficult task. His irritated teacher writes a letter and sends it to her mother. Out of curiosity, Thomas asks her mother what is written in the letter. Her mother seals it back and inspiringly tells her child that the teacher has said that you're so intelligent and so brilliant, the schooling is not required for you. This inspiration can let the light in Thomas' mind that made him into world-class famous scientist. I will conclude my talk with a humble suggestion to adopt a holistic approach in teaching the students by addressing to the body, mind and inner soul which may lead to a very good healthy relationship between a student and a teacher. With this I conclude. Thank you.